Hi everybody, Niklas Heidloff here. Today I want to show how community moderators can extend Connections communities without having to deploy iWidgets. In order to do that, I've developed a generic HTML iWidget that moderators can now use to easily embed any arbitrary HTML. So let's take a look. First, I start a community, call it demo. And after I've created the community, moderators can now customize the community. They can see, for example, here the out-of-the-box widgets, like sub-communities, feeds, etc. And in my case, they also see widgets that I have deployed previously, like this news widget. The new widget is now here the HTML widget that moderators can click once. And then the widget um, is added to the community and it should show up right here at the bottom. Now in order to better dis uh, demonstrate this, I can move it up here to the top. And as you can see right now, it's empty. Since I'm logged in as a moderator of this community, I see now the link here, Edit HTML Widget, which obviously normal members and readers of this community wouldn't see. When I click it, I see the edit mode of the widget and I can define here things like the title and the actual HTML content. So let me do that now. Collaboration today is the title and then I can enter here some HTML content. And in order to show that it's actually HTML, I use here the bold for the rich text. Now I can save it and navigate to the top and then I see it right here. This is my title, Collaboration today, and here's my content. Now, in order to make this a little bit more interesting, I want in the next step to define or embed a YouTube video. So I go to the HTML content section, remove the content here and paste in the iframe that I copied from YouTube. Now I can save the widget and the video shows up in line here in my community. Now to go even one step further, I now want to embed or display news entries from Collaboration Today. In order to do that, I'm using here the REST API um, and some Dojo code. So let's take a look how I can do this. Again, I switch into edit mode. And first of all, I remove the iframe from the previous example. And I've written already some JavaScript code that I can now simply paste in here in um, under the section embedded JavaScript. So there's two ways to use JavaScript. One is to embed it in the HTML directly. The other alternative is to refer to a JavaScript resource. So in this case, I simply embed the JavaScript code directly in line. And I also need to define a little bit of HTML, which is a simple div so that my JavaScript code now is where to put the news entries. Now, when I save it, and um, navigate up to the top, you can see the news entries showing up right here. As an alternative to that, as I already mentioned briefly, I can also refer to JavaScript, JavaScript resources. So I delete the embedded JavaScript and instead I copy in here a link to my JavaScript file. And now when I save it, again the um, content shows up here after a page refresh. And last but not least, I can also use style sheets. So when I go back in edit mode and then I define here my style sheet reference and then I save, navigate to the top and do a page refresh, you can see that the style and the styling has um, slightly changed. Now, if you want to use this generic HTML i widget that I want to open source soon on OpenNTF, you need to be aware of the security implications because moderators can now add active content to um, connections. In the last part of this video, I want to quickly show what I had to do technically. Um, first of all, I had to define here in my widgets config file um, a reference to my HTML widget XML, which is the deployment descriptor of my iWidget, which is the file that you see here, in which I defined some HTML code, plus most importantly, a reference to another, a second file, a JavaScript file, where I define a class org open NTF HTML widget, which is this one right here.
That's a quick summary of the HTML i widget. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.